Welcome back. We are here looking at the, the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for 4th of July 2022. If you like to support our channel, you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. I haven't made a video about, about the cryptocurrencies for a very long time, uh, but now things are starting to look more interesting uh, as this market has completely fallen off a cliff so in general we hit the highs here at uh, roughly 70k and at the moment we're trading at 9.19.3k we are broken below the previous highs uh, back here in 2017 and uh, uh, that should be significant um, if we look at technical industries first, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. We're at in, uh, 27 uh, in the RSI, so we're getting very low. So we may see a rally um, in the next few weeks as this is significantly oversold at this current stage. But that doesn't mean that this market it will, will um, go back to the previous size. It kind of means that we may test the 200 moving average, which is at 22k, or all the way up towards the uh, 20 simple moving average uh, at the 30 uh, at 34k, or in best case scenario toward towards the 50 moving average at uh, 42k. We are definitely in a market that has broken down, and uh, and there are many reasons for this. So. So, so people that basically have lost faith in cryptos have been um, seeing this, basically the people that bought here and bought in the very highs have been selling their cryptos and all the ones that have basically put monies in these uh, crypto banks, which they basically are, have not been able to withdraw their money. And that is something that, that when people lose confidence in a security then that's really difficult to get buyers back in. People will start selling and selling, and selling, um, and it will pay, take years before confidence is restored in this market. And, and kind of what this market needs is a massive overhaul in in regulation in order to get confidence back. And um, when that happens, who knows? Uh, haven't heard anything about. Um, uh, uh, this market being regulated going forward. So it's just a massive uh, casino. casino and, 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 uh, at this current stage, the pessimism in this market is significant and people are just selling off. And as that is the case, then going forward, this market will most likely just go lower and lower. Doesn't mean that it won't have its rallies. We do see occasional rallies here, but as you get close to major resistance levels at the 50 moving average, for example, here, people start selling. Uh, we are significantly overstretched at this moment, significantly oversold, and therefore we may see a technical uh, rally similar to this, but that is not something that will last. It will most likely be sold into, and going forward in the next few months, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the 50 moving average crossing the 200, basically a death cross and this will definitely go into to um, to uh, crypto winter for the next uh, several years probably. So to the downside side, we most, we most likely will find major support if we go fur further down here. Then the highs of roughly uh, 2019 of 13.8. That is probably the next target to the downside. To the upside, 200 moving average. 20 simple moving average and the previous basically this area previous lows here should be an area of basically a significant resistance that is up towards the 20 simple moving average so let's look at the other big uh, crypto that is ethereum very similar here we did break below the 200 moving average have close below the 200 moving average it's not as oversold as uh, Bitcoin is, it, uh, it is still oversold, but not as oversold. So at 99, uh, at the 29, I'm sorry to say, 
uh, it is oversold and we are at the base of the bottom of the bull in Japan. Stochastic is bearish, MACD is bearish, so momentum is definitely the downside. You just see how many weeks, weeks we just got sold off, sold off, get a fairly good week here and then just basically plunges even lower. If you look at where we may find uh, the next bottom is down here at 839. That's the pre, that's the low of the 2018. After that, we are going towards the lows here. That is at 400 and and uh, and four, and then even lower towards roughly to 300 and then to 150 dollars for Ethereum. Uh, to the upside. 200 moving average should offer resistant, but also here the previous lows of in this area right here and the 20 sub moving average moving in this direction. That should be an area where mostly the uh, sellers will come back in and sell this to the city downside. So also here, people, this is basically a completely uh, collapse of confidence in this securities, and this is over the board for all cryptos um, that. People are just not buying. They're just selling, selling. And um, yes, that is basically what is basically happening here. So looking forward, we may see rallies similar to this. This was a good rally of three weeks and then just completely collapse. If we rally from here, then we'll probably have another two, three weeks up towards this area here, roughly 1800 towards 2000 and then sellers will mostly come back in and sell this to the downside um this was a market that was um, um uh, flourished under a um, uh, monetary policy basically where interest rates were at zero where it was basically cheap liquidity uh, endless liquidity that is not going to be the case going forward uh, money is going to be more expensive and less of it and therefore this market will not flourish uh, within, within this environment that we'll see the next probably a year or two so hope you find this helpful if you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos good luck and thank you very much